Alright guys, this is Hurricane Haley, and this is the first video for my YouTube channel. I'm going to be reading creepypasta stories, and for my first one, I decided to read Aoni. So, let's get started. Aoni. I recently downloaded a game, Aoni. It's a free game, so feel free to download it as well. But I recommend you don't. Ever since I first played that game, I've been having nightmares. That game is pure evil. Ao Oni might not seem like a bad game. It is set in an abandoned mansion in which you have to run away from the Ao Oni and solve puzzles to escape. I found this a really fun game when I first downloaded it. It was impressive for a Japanese horror survival RPG, but I need to tell you about this. This evil game. March 22nd, 2013. Today I downloaded this amazing game, Aoni. It is a survival horror RPG and also an indie game, so it's free. I don't usually download indie games because most of them are crap, but this one just seemed better. I had watched videos on YouTube of people playing the game. I'd watched PewDiePie be an immature bastard about the game, and I had watched less famous people play the game, which was a lot funnier. But then I watched a video about someone saying that there was a glitch in the game which made the game a whole lot scarier. So I installed Aoni and attempted to glitch. It didn't seem to work. On the name creation screen, I changed the name from Hiroshi to Greggy R34. And the game started up. Sure enough, I was in the mansion with all the other characters. The plate smashed and I had to go get the shard. But when I went back to find the other characters, they shouldn't have been there. But they were. I tried to talk to a blonde haired character, but he just said, curse. I tried talking to all the other characters, but I got the same response, curse. According to the YouTube video, scarier things weren't supposed to happen until you solve the piano puzzle. The AI was annoying me now. They all said curse. It didn't matter how many times I tried talking to them, I got the same response. I thought to myself, fuck the AI, I'll go explore. So I left the room and went off to explore the mansion. I went upstairs to the bedrooms, and they all seemed normal. But one thing I noticed was that the map on the wall was covered in blood. Just large splashes of blood. I didn't understand this, so I went back to check if the AI had moved. The blonde-haired character was gone. I spoke to all the characters, and they still said curse. I went back to check the game, the map, and the blood had started to drip on the floor. The blood wasn't very realistic, but it was still creepy. I went off to do the piano puzzle, and as soon as I had completed it, the game crashed. Fuck this. I need sleep. So I went to bed. In my dream, I was laying on the beach until I was approached by the blonde-haired character from Aoni. His right arm was all mangled and dripping blood. He said to me, keep playing the game and this will happen to you. What do you mean, I asked him. I was once a player like you, but I played the game. He started to walk away and I woke up from my dream. I noticed I was dripping with sweat, so I decided to have a shower. Good idea. March 23rd, 2013. I decided to continue playing Aoni. Today, my imagination must have gotten a bit out of control last night. I mean, really? How could a game inflict such a horrific injury to my arm? It's not possible, I told myself. I clicked continue, and my profile with the character Greggy R34 loaded up. I went to check if the stupid AI were still at the door of the mansion, and they were. The blonde-haired character was back with his mangled arm now displayed on my laptop screen. This actually scared me. How had the character managed to get... A mangled arm. Had my dream been a real message? I walked up to the blonde haired character and as soon as I talked to him, the AO Oni popped out from the side of the screen and killed me. The normal game over screen didn't show, but instead I was greeted by a horrifying picture. It was me. I clearly I was clearly dead with a mangled right arm. I clicked the X button and the window closed. How the fuck has he got my picture on that goddamn game? No normal program could just get a picture of me. Did I know the developer? No. Aoni is a Japanese game. I have no Japanese friend. I decided to Google Aoni to see if anyone else had this creepy version of the game. I got links to different downloads, Korean versions of the game, various other fan-made games, but none like this. Fuck this shit, I thought to myself. I moved my mouse over the documents icon, found Aoni, and deleted all the data. March 24th, 2013. Oh god, it fucking hurt shit. I woke up half an hour later and my arm was all bloody and broken. I tried calling a doctor, but they were all busy. Fuck. I have blood all over my desk and my laptop. I feel like I'm going to die. Don't download this fucking game. Can't <laughs> March twenty fourth, two thousand thirteen. 
March 30th, 2013. I'm still alive, but have serious injuries. I plan on destroying my laptop later today. I'm probably still for destroying a 699-pound PC. But that thing had AOMI installed on it. That thing has crippled my arm. Doctor says it could take nine months for my arm to heal. That was AOMI. Now, I believe the story was good, except for the last, the, the last two parts, where he said the doctors were all busy. That wouldn't happen in real life. And then the very last part, where he said he destroyed his computer, it's a bit too far to go. But that's just what I think. In the comments, let me know what you think. And you can let me know what other creepypastas I should read in the comments as well. So, this has been Hurricane Haley, first creepypasta reading, Aoni, like, comment, and subscribe for more.